The body has two main communication systems. One is the nervous system, which works a lot like electrical wiring of the body. So it sends a signal through these wires, um, through these neurons, to a specific location where it acts on that location or that tissue, that organ. And it has to continually send those signals if it wants to continually act and affect that organ. The endocrine system works differently. It's a chemical-based system. Typically, we're talking about releasing chemical hormones into the blood, but it can be other fluids of the body as well. These signals are gonna last a lot longer, and they're also gonna uh, create a sort of widespread effect, so it can affect lots of cells around the body all at the same time. We can see here a depiction that's fairly simple of the major endocrine glands. This is not all the endocrine glands. There's a lot more than this, uh, but this is some of the big ones. The hormones that come from these endocrine glands, uh, again, are chemical messengers. They are going to be used in order to maintain homeostasis in the body. This is both during rest and exercise. It regulates the cell and organ activities of various parts of the body. It acts on only target cells that have the hormone receptor for the hormone being released. So if it doesn't have the receptor, that cell is not going to be affected by that hormone. The hormones also must uh, fit the receptor, so it's kind of like a lock and key situation. However, that lock, which is the receptor, does have the ability to be modified by other molecules that can bind to it. So it's not a simple lock and key situation, but it's, it's a lock and key situation where the lock can change shapes and change activity by other molecules other than the hormone. As I've already mentioned, the endocrine system is acting to control homeostasis both during rest and during exercise, and it does so through controlling things like metabolism, uh, regulating fluid and electrolyte balances within the body, uh, it affects the blood pressure and the heart rate and other cardiovascular variables, and it controls protein synthesis, tissue growth, and maintenance and repair of uh, tissues like skeletal muscle. As you can see, the endocrine system is really important for controlling the internal environment of the body, and we have different different types of hormones that are at play with this. So I'm going to be going into that in another video.